today we're going to go for a test drive in my 1995 uh, Range Rover uh, Classic, uh, also called the Soft Dash. But the, the Range Rover Classic um, was, you know, one of the first uh, more comfortable uh, Rover sedans, Land Rover sedans, or not sedans, but uh, vehicles. Most of the early models were very, very much uh, in, um, no frills. Uh, transportation, uh, off-road type vehicles. But the Classic uh, came out in, in 1969 or 1970 and um, was available in a two-door and a four-door model, short wheelbase. It didn't come to the U.S. until uh, 1987 is when it uh, came to the auto show for the first time. And uh, this classic model was produced through the 1995 model year. Uh, some of the documentation on it say that it was produced until 96. I don't know if that's what in Europe, but 95 was the last model that you could buy uh, of this in the U.S. Um, Soft Dash was a one-year only design of the Dash which incorporated um, dual airbags, passenger and driver, and uh, just a redesigned, uh, more uh, uh, luxurious type of a, a Dash layout than the original model. The car uh, came with a, primarily with a V8. In the U.S. market, it was a V8. In, in European markets, they had uh, four-cylinder turbo diesels. Uh, all of them in are four or five different types of them uh, available through the years. The V8 um, started out a 3.5 liter and. Um, went to a 3.9, which I think you could still get in these later models, and then went to a 4.2, which this is a 4.2, and this is maximum acceleration right here. It's not fast, but it's not uh, overly slow. It'll get out of its way. Um, so we're up to 70 right there, and uh, 70 for a cruising, the uh, speed is 2,400, 2,300 RPM, so very comfortable from a highway cruising perspective. Um, this uh, is a uh, full-time four-wheel drive, so uh, right now it's in four-wheel high. Uh, you know, where most early four-wheel drives uh, had lockout, uh, hubs where you would engage the four-wheel drive otherwise it was in two-wheel you know today they have full-time four-wheel I know my Yukon has full-time four-wheel but um, a lot of times it's uh, all-wheel drive um, but this is I think kind of rare that, that it has a full-time four-wheel drive uh, I have never had it in four-wheel low had never had much of a need, but um, very nice car, very comfortable car. Um, I purchased this car with 87,000 miles on it, and um, it's got 103 on it now. And I've 
actually drove this car as a daily driver for uh, three years. Winter, summer, uh, zero degrees, 100 degrees, uh, and didn't have, never had a speck of problems with it. It has a heater that'll blow you out in the winter time, and the AC is very adequate, comfortable. Um, again, never had a mechanical problem, electrical problem with it. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work on this car, uh, other than having the, the um, air suspension removed, which I think 99.5 of these cars have their air suspension uh, removed for coil over springs. Uh, the only thing I know of that doesn't work properly is the cruise control. So, anyway, that's a drive, a uh, test drive, and 95 Range Rover Classic. Uh, it's unique to drive. It's almost 6,000 pounds, and uh, it's built like a tank, uh, drives like a tank. Um, it's also relatively unique on the road today, so uh, you'll, you'll get more than your share of stairs. But anyway, uh, thanks for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Thank you.